This tutorial shows you how to convert species occurrence records from one coordinate system and projection to another using R. This is far easier than using other methods such as ArcGIS, QGIS, or GrassGIS. This tutorial assumes you are using Ubuntu Linux version 22.04 as your operating system, although it will work on Windows or Mac operating systems as well, as long as you have R and RStudio installed on your computer. This tutorial assumes the programs R and RStudio are installed. See the show notes below for instructions, or you can use my pre-configured virtual machine that already has all the programs you need installed. Details to follow and an exciting announcement. This tutorial assumes you have the R package SF installed. See the show notes below for instructions, or simply bypass all of the fuss and use my pre-configured virtual machine. I have a virtual machine pre-configured and pre-installed with various population genetics and landscape ecology software. You can run this virtual machine within your Windows or Mac computer. In fact, I am running Ubuntu Linux that you are seeing right now as a virtual machine within my Mac computer. See the show notes below for instructions to download and hook up this virtual machine to your Windows or Mac computer. The exciting update is that I now have a pre-configured virtual machine specifically for ARM-based Macs. These are the new Apple Silicon or M processor Macs. This virtual machine runs ARM-based Ubuntu Linux at near native speeds using virtualization instead of x86-based emulation. This will run significantly faster for you if you have an ARM-based Mac. In fact, the Mac I am using right now to run Ubuntu Linux and make this tutorial is an ARM-based Mac. See the show notes below for instructions to download and hook up the new ARM-based Ubuntu Linux virtual machine that I have pre-configured for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Open up an internet browser which I have pinned to my favorites on the left. Navigate to joshbanta.com and select Tutorials tab. Scroll down until you find the header How to Convert Species Occurrence Points to Another Projection Using R, and then click on it. Click on Files Needed for Tutorial, and then click the button to download the files. When the download is complete, you may close the internet browser. Next, open up File Explorer, which I have pinned to my favorites on the left. Navigate to the Downloads folder and double-click the file to open Archive Manager. Right-click on the indicated folder on a Windows-style mouse or push down on your Mac trackpad with two fingers and select Extract. Navigate to your desktop and select it and click on Extract. Then close Archive Manager as well as File Explorer. Next, open up RStudio, which I have pinned to my favorites on the left. Select File, Open File from the drop-down menu and navigate to the Convert Points folder on your desktop. Select the file, Convert Points to another projection and click on Open. Next, select the Working Directory. Select Session from the drop-down menu and then select Working Directory and then to Source File Location. Next, call the SF library. Highlight line 5 and select Run. This is a quick splice to ask you to consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. It does not cost anything. It is totally free. But if you like what I am doing and want to support my work, I encourage you to visit patreon.com slash joshbanta and make a voluntary contribution. Paying Patreon members at the appropriate tier get exclusive perks, such as a tutorial on performing species distribution modeling using Maxent in an R script. This represents a tremendous advance over previous methods and automates everything, including choosing the best model settings, including a bias file, and even projecting the results into the future, all in one script. Another perk for the 
paid Patreon members at the appropriate tier is ad-free versions of all my videos. The link is in the show notes below. Your support helps me to deliver new content and keep this channel current and vibrant. Thank you. Next, we need to tell R the name of our file with the occurrence points. Change this name to match whatever your file name is. Let's look at it. Use File Explorer to navigate to the file and double click on it. Then click OK. Note that the file has one column called lawn, lowercase l-o-n, and one file called lat, l-a-t. That's longitude and latitude. Those are the only two columns in this data set. Each row corresponds to an occurrence location. You may now close the spreadsheet. Highlight line 13 and run it. Next, we need to specify the coordinate system and projection of our occurrence points. Not what we want the coordinate system and projection to be, but what they are in the initial file. You cannot just choose anything you want. We will specify these parameters using their EPSG code. This topic lies outside the scope of this tutorial, but you can search for EPSG codes at the links provided here. Change the number on line 22 to the EPSG code that corresponds to the coordinate system and projection of your initial occurrences points file. Then highlight line 22 and click on run. Next, choose the coordinate system and projection that you want your occurrence points to be in. Choose the EPSG code and enter it on line 27. Then highlight line 27 and click run. Next, highlight line 30 and click on Run. Then, highlight line 33 and click on Run. Then, highlight line 36 and click on Run. This shows us that we successfully imported our occurrence locations into R and told R what the coordinate system and projection are. Then, highlight line 40 and click on Run. This reprojects our occurrence points into the new coordinate system and projection. Next, highlight line 43 and click on Run. This shows us that we successfully reprojected our occurrence locations to the new coordinate system and projection. Next, highlight line 47 and click Run. Now, highlight line 50 and click Run. Then, highlight line 54 and click Run. Now, let's look at the output. Use File Explorer to find the file occout.csv and double click on it. Then, click OK. You will see that the new file looks the same as the old one, except that the numbers are different. But it still has the same number of columns, and the first column is still called lawn, and the second column is still called lat, and there are still the same number of rows. But now, the points are in a different coordinate system and projection. You have successfully completed the tutorial.